Hi, in this video we will see how to drill down from a parent report to child report in Jaspersoft server. The requirement is to drill down from a summary report called total number of cores by occupation which is a pie chart to a detailed report called customer detail report which is a tablet display of the data. That means we are going to achieve drill down concept from a pie graph to a tabular display of the data. For that purpose, we we have two queries. One is parent query and the other is child report query. The parent report is grouped by occupation for the number of cars owned. So <coughs> this can be used to fill the pie graph. And using this query, we can plot the child graph as a tabular report. So let us see how we can achieve the concept of drill down in Jaspersoft server. Let's drag and drop uh, HTML5 charts, HTML5 pie chart to the canvas in the Jaspersoft studio and feed this visualization with the SQL query here. So this, this is a query given for the HTML5 pie graph and <coughs> publish this parent report to Jasper server. So I have already deployed this report to the server and the output looks like this parent. So once you have the parent report deployed and unit tested, let's design and deploy the child report. So meanwhile, let's go to the child report and design the child report something like this using column header and detail band. And also publish this child report and unit test in the Jasper Soft server. So this is the parent report and we have unit tested this one and let's unit test the child report. So right now the child report is empty. Uh, this child report is designed having a parameter called as param occupation. Here if you look at this query. So we have select to start from customer where occupation equal dollar uh, $p with the parameter name. So this will uh, filter with the occupation. <coughs> so here if you give any uh, value for the occupation. Let us take management as occupation value without double quotes here. Give management for the parameter value then click on apply. Then take one more value and apply it here. So this proves the two reports independently working without any issues. The parent report here So the parent report here and the child report here. Now we need to link these two reports. So how we can do that? So go back to the studio, open the parent JR XML, right click on the chart. From the data, from the you can see categories levels here and measures in the categories levels double click on this level one um, and click on this bucket properties then give a property called as param occupation then the corresponding value for this one here in this case uh, the value for this param occupation property is dollar f occupation which is the category name here we will use this bucket property while configuring uh, the hyperlinking for the child report. So 
now click on this measure one so either you can click on this associated link edit hyperlink or in the advanced properties you can crop you can you can configure uh, <coughs> the hyperlinking properties so the easiest way is to click on this one edit hyperlink then you need to check this one check this uh, use hyperlink option then by default it auto populates with underscore report property so this I have added so you need to fill this underscore report property with the child report path from the server so go back to the server and go back to the root level right click on the child report then go to properties then take the path from here so copy this path and paste it here for the underscore report uh, parameter so select this one modify then either you can use expression with double quotes or you can directly use the path as it is so here I have used this option use constant value then <coughs> click on add button to add one more uh, property which is uh, our parameter so I have already configured it here let's click on this one click on modify and here property name is param occupation the child report is uh, designed to have this parameter to get the detailed report so the parameter name here should match with the parameter name in the child report para give this param occupation here and use the bucket property we created from categories levels here so just click on this uh, radio button and from the drop down select the uh, one we have just created click on cancel click on cancel then ok then click ok so ensure that uh, <coughs> you have uh, the parameter created in the child report and this parameter property here it is checked is for prompting and and once it is done when everything is once linking is done in the parent report republish this parent report to the server here I have already uh, redeployed this to the server and I'm just uh, unit testing here click on this parent button uh, parent report execute this parent report here then perform click actions on the slices so let us say I am clicking on the skilled manual so skilled manual uh, it is drilling down in a, in a new tab having this option skilled manual uh, by default you can see the data is populated the data is filtered with the uh, parameter with skilled manual value and if, if we go back to the parent report and if we click on this slice called management you would see the you would see the customer details with this value filtered so management is passed to the child report and you would see uh, the data is related to the management so this is how we can actually drill down concept uh, in Jasper reports and one important thing is uh, we can hide these options here uh, using this icon um, <coughs> and and if we go back uh, to the parent report and if you if you if you perform uh, click actions again you would not see that option is coming up here okay so to not get this options uh, for the uh, child report when we drill down from parent report uh, we need to set few properties for the child report so go to the root root level and click edit this child report click on controls and resources for this child report the display mode should be in page and you need to uncheck this always from so whenever you deploy any report to the server you would see um, this as pop-up window and this is checked so when you are working on drill down reports in Jasper uh, server for the child report it is always a good practice to 
maintain display display mode as in page and always prompt as unchecked so that whenever you perform click actions from parent report to child report you would not see the parameters window populated in the child report so i'm just closing all these windows and just re unit testing this parent and child report so let's click on clerical now so you would not see this parameters window populated for the child report when you uh, opt for that option in the child report so this is how we can achieve drill down uh, concept from parent report to child report in jaspersoft server thank you for watching this video